guys. In this episode, I'll show you how to check the fuse. Now, there's many different types of fuses out there. For instance, I have this car fuse here. And the way you know if it's bad is if that little uh, wire in there is burned through, typically on the top, you'll see a little black spot. If that wire is no longer connected, that fuse is bad. Now, they make these in all different types, sizes, shapes, and they're color-coded. In this case, it's a 15-amp fuse. would be blue for this uh, brand here. Another style fuse is a glass fuse, such as this one here. You can tell this one's okay because of that shiny piece of metal that you see in the middle there. Uh, if the fuse would be bad, that piece or that metal strip would be broken in the middle. And you could tell real easily whether or not that fuse is blown or not. Another type of fuse you may not be able to see if it's blown or not is this type of fuse right here. Uh, this is a 50 amp time delay uh, bus fuse. Um, you really don't know if this fuse is bad just by looking at it because it has a sticker on it. Even if you peel the sticker off, it still has another copper jacket underneath it. And you don't know if this fuse is bad unless you have a meter. Um, you will need a meter such as this one here. And if you don't have a meter like this, you can also use a meter. It's a lot cheaper. One like this here. Um, this one here, uh, you can buy at Walmart. It's about 7 to $12, dollars, somewhere around there. And what you're going to set this meter on is this little line that has a triangle in it with another line. So, just like that. And I'll show you on the other meter the same setting. In this case, on this field piece meter, it would just be one over. This setting right here with the sun and the two lines means it has an audio. So whenever uh, the, there is continuity through what you're checking, where the circuit is closed, it would make a beep, such as this. Okay, and as you can tell, it has that same symbol right there, the line with the triangle and another line intersecting the line as the other meter. Now to check the fuse, you simply place it in front of you and you place one end of each side of the meter or each side of the leads onto your fuse. If it beeps, it's okay. As you can tell, the meter is reading 000, zero, zero. that means there's no resistance and this fuse is good. The other meter that we can show you is this one right here. This one doesn't have an audible. It just has a one. A one meaning it's infinite. And when you close the two, or when you touch the two leads together, you get zero, zero, 001 or zero, zero, 000. Uh, that means there's no resistance in the wires. And these wires here, these cables are probably pretty good. Um, and they're ready to be tested. So if we grab our fuse, we can go ahead and do the same test. Um, I'll try doing this in shot here so everybody can see what's going on. And there you go. Zero, zero, zero. Again, I'm just touching the fuse here. One on each end. Pressing it on there firmly. As you can tell, the meter is fluctuating back and forth. It tells you zero, zero, zero. And everything's okay. This fuse is good. Uh, in case you're wondering what happens if I switch the leads, we'll do it like this as well. Uh, you'll get the same outcome no matter what you do. Zero, zero, zero. And that's how you check a fuse. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, and here's a, a fuse panel. And I'll just kind of show you how the breakers should work and stuff. Um, you have different ones in here. You have a two-pole and a single-pole breaker. Um, if these would be tripped, sometimes you really can't tell if they're tripped. Uh, this one, for instance, could be tripped right now, uh, but we don't know because you can't push them over anymore. They trip sometimes without showing that they're tripped. So the best way to reset them, if you're not sure, is to turn them off completely and turn them back on. Um, typically, if they are blown, they should be back to the left side, just maybe something like that. But sometimes, like I said, they don't they don't go that far. So anyway, that's how you check a circuit.